Hello everyone, welcome back to my one tech tips. Hope you guys are doing great and keeping safe in this pandemic situation. Since festival season is coming up, please while going out, wear mask. If you are looking for a 5.1 home theater under 20,000 rupees, definitely Sony HD RT3 and Sony S20R will definitely pop up in top two list. So in this video, we are going to dig deep into these two soundbars and what are the major differences, what are its pros and cons of these soundbars. So by end of this video, you will get a clear idea which soundbar you want to choose over another while buying soundbar. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the video. If you guys are new to Mymo Tech Tips, please support us by subscribing to Mymo Tech Tips for more such videos. We post tech videos like this regularly. The major point to consider when comparing two different soundbar is on what year these soundbars are launched. When it comes to that, HD RT3 was launched in the year 2017 whereas HD S20R was launched recently that is 2020. Apart from that, this soundbar has some price difference and both the soundbars are 5.1 surround sound. With this price difference and the launch year, it doesn't mean that HD S20R is a better option but there are a lot of differences between these soundbars. So in this video, we will dig deep into these differences and see what soundbar suits for you out of these two. Since it's a 5.1 soundbar, wall mounting is one of the major factors. When it comes to HD S20R, it has only one dedicated wall mounting option which is 5.1 surround wall mounting option. But HD RT3 has two different types of wall mounting options that is 5.1 wall mounting option as well as all friend wall mounting options. In this way, they will distribute the surround signal in the front channel itself to get enhanced front channel experience. But in HD S20R, it doesn't have this option. But it comes with multi-speaker mode, whereas when you play PCM or Dolby Digital Content and if you enable this mode, all the speaker gonna fire up. So you will get an much louder sound. So in this case, by enabling this mode, you can get the speakers in front of you. The wall mounting options, design and everything of the soundbar comes again. What plays a major role is the watt and impedance of the speaker used in the soundbar. So the important driving factor of the speaker is the watt and the impedance of the speaker. So when it comes to HD RT3 and S20R, the watt and impedance varies a lot. So let's understand watt and impedance and how it's going to impact the sound performance of a soundbar or any speaker. Let's assume you have a speaker and if you pass 50 watt current to it and 100 watt current to it, definitely 100 watt current gonna give more sound and more loudness when compared to the 50 watt current. Similarly, if you have a 2 ohm speaker and an 8 ohm speaker and if you pass 50 watt to both the speakers, 8 ohm speaker gonna give lesser sound and 2 ohm speaker gonna give more sound because the ohm is nothing but the resistance so when you pass 50 watt current to it the 2 watt speaker gonna apply less resistance to its current and the current can flow much more faster which gives more sound but whereas 8 ohm speaker can pass only less current and produce lesser the sound but here's the trick the 8 ohm speaker can give clear sound and the wear and tear of the speaker will be less so the speaker will last longer Whereas 2 ohm speaker will derive more current from the amplifier which causes wear and tear more and produces louder sound. So with this understanding, let's see what are the watt and impedance of these sound bars. HD S20R comes up with 400 watt and HD RT3 comes up with 600 watt speakers. The center channel of the HD S20R is 67 watt and 4 ohm. Surprisingly, all the front channel and surround channel also have the same watt and impedance. When it comes to the subwoofer, HD S20R has 65 watt and 4 ohm subwoofer. When we look at the HD RT3, the center channel of HD RT3 is 170 watt and 4 ohm. The front left, front right, surround left and surround right has 65 watt and 2.5 ohm. You could see the resistance of this front channel and the surround channel speakers are considerably very less in the HD RT3. When it comes to the subwoofer, it has the similar impedance of S20R but it has higher wattage. So now we have seen the wattage and impedance of speakers used in the soundbar. Now let's understand how the soundbar is going to perform in different sound conditions 
based on this watt and impedance. When it comes to the voice clarity, center channel plays the major role. So for HD S20R, it has 67 watt and 4 ohm center channel speaker, whereas HD RT3 has 170 watt and 4 ohm center channel speaker. Even though the resistance is 4 ohm for both the speaker, HD RT3 has higher watt. So definitely, HD RT3 gonna give better sound clarity even in low volume, so that you can enjoy crisp and clear audio of the dialogues when you are playing in lower volumes. Now let's move on to the surround sound. When it comes to the surround sound speaker, HD S20R has 67 watt and 4 ohm speaker, whereas HD RT3 has 65 watt and only 2.5 ohm impedance speaker. Even though the watt is same for these speakers, HD RT3 has lower impedance. Because of its low impedance, obviously the volume level is going to be higher when compared to HD S20R. Finally, the major important factor is the base of the soundbar. Similarly, the HD S20R has lower wattage and ohm when compared to HD RT3. HD RT3 has close to double the amount of watt and with the same impedance. So definitely HD RT3 gonna give high fungi bass when compared to S20R. Because of its variation in watt and impedance of the speakers, Sony has come up with different audio modes and audio formats for these two speakers. Because of the low volt and high impedance, HD S20R has different sound modes to compensate the lower volume performance. Whereas HD RT3 has sound mode to compensate higher voltage and lower impedance to compensate the distortion in the sound. When it comes to HD S20R, the sound modes are auto mode, cinema, music and standard. Whereas the sound effects are night mode, voice mode and, and dedicated voice mode where you can change the volume level as well. When it comes to HD RT3, one sound mode which is really important is clear audio plus. Because of its low impedance, sometimes in higher volume it gonna give distortion in the sound. So having a clear audio plus sound mode is really important. When it comes to the dimension of the soundbar, HD S20R has 76 cm of length whereas HD RT3 has 90 cm of length. Because of this extra 15 cm in HD RT3, HD RT3 gonna help in achieving perfect triangle. As you can see in the screen, if we have a more distance between the left and right channel, it's gonna give distinct surround sound from the left and right channel. So HD RT3 which has extra length gonna help us to achieve distinct sound from the left and right channel which gonna enhance the movie watching experience. So when it comes to the supported audio formats of these two soundbars, HD S20R has support to LPCM Dolby Digital and HD RT3 has LPCM Dolby Digital and AAC format. When it comes to LPCM, both the soundbar can support only up to two channels. So if you want to enjoy 5.1 surround sound, you have to make sure that the input what you are passing to the soundbar is in the Dolby Digital format. When it comes to HD RT3, it can support USB video input as well, whereas HD S20R doesn't support USB video input. When you are trying to pass Dolby Digital signal from your TV or any other source to the soundbar, make sure you are using good branded HDMI cable or optical cable. Till now we have seen the differences, pros and cons of these two soundbar in detail. Now let's see the buying gate. What soundbar best suits for you? If you are looking for a soundbar for a room size less than 150 square feet or kind of a medium size room, you should probably go for HD S20R. Because of its less voltage and higher impedance, it's gonna give clear sound for smaller room. When it comes to HD RT3, it has high voltage as well as low impedance. So if you are hearing sound 
inside a small room you may face some distortion hd s20r is more suits for tv less than 50 inch whereas hd rt3 is best suits for large tv size because of its length if the listener position is going to be less than 5 feet i would recommend hd s20r it's going to be a better option for example if you have a tv setup where you have to sit close to the tv or if you are planning to buy a sound bar for your pc system then hd s20r is a better option it doesn't mean that you can't sit beyond that 5 feet for the hd s20r you can definitely sit but for the smaller distance also this sound bar gonna suits better when it comes to the listener position more than 5 feet or more than that hd rt3 is going to be a better option if you are someone who is looking for a minimal bass or a balanced bass then hd s20r is a better option because of its higher wattage and lower impedance bass driver hd rt3 gonna give room shaking bass experience if you are living in an apartment where playing a high bass sound is not allowed then definitely consider buying hd s20r if you are staying in an individual villa where playing a high bass volume is not a problem then you should probably choose hd rt3 if you are someone who want to have usb video support then definitely hd s20r is not an option probably you can use hd rt3 to connect hard drive or movie via usb and then play it in the tv i hope you guys find this video useful if us please give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to mymo tech tips for more such videos please leave a comment if you have any question regarding the sound bars or any other 5.0 sound bar or dolby atmo sound bar we will try to answer as soon as possible see you guys in next video until then bye bye thanks for watching stay safe